Hey, welcome everybody to Seven City Kids Online. I am so excited you guys have tuned in. Y'all need to stand to your feet and get ready for some awesome worship. for you today. First announcement is going to be camp. If you want to go, you still have time to sign up. Go ahead and go to 7city.info and click the events today tab and that's where you're going to be able to sign up for camp. Secondly, while you're there, you can go ahead and click the give today tab and that's where you're going to be able to give your tithes and offerings as well as to COVID-19. And thirdly and lastly, if you um, tune in next week for Easter service, Saturday or Sunday. You're going to see some of our friends from camp. We are so excited you guys are here, and we'll see you soon. Hey, everyone. Pastor Ashley here, and I'm the children's pastor here at Seven City Church, and we are so excited to come to you for a Seven City Kids online service. This month, we are starting a new series called Jesus Is, and we'll be talking about things that Jesus is. And so this week's bottom line is this. Jesus is our Savior. I love that. I love that Jesus is our Savior. I know that he died on the cross for us. I know that he died for us because he came to save us. But what's so cool is this story that I am about to tell you because it shows that people knew he was a Savior before he even died for us. You see, in Jesus' last week of life here on earth, he decided to do something. And so he's with his disciples and he's like, listen up, y'all. I need you to go do something for me. They're like, what is it, Jesus? We'll do anything for you. Just tell us what it is. He's like, I need you to go to town, get a donkey, and bring it to me. And they're like, like, from someone's house? Like, isn't that kind of stealing? He's like, no, 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 no. If they ask, just tell them the Lord needs the donkey. And they're like, all right, weirdo. So they go into town, and they find the donkey, and the guy's like, hey, why are you taking my donkey? And they're like, hold on, hold on. The Lord needs it. And he's like, oh, okay, in that case, here, have it. Like, how crazy is that? Imagine somebody coming to your house and being like, hey, I want your dog because the Lord needs it. And you're like, what? Yeah, that's basically what they did. So they get this donkey and they bring it back to Jesus. And Jesus hops on it and he goes riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. And the people are so excited to see him. So excited, in fact, that they start laying their coats down on the ground. And they're yelling, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest peace on earth. I love that because the word Hosanna actually means Savior. So they were saying, Savior, Savior, Savior. They were yelling at Jesus that he was their Savior. And let me remind you something. Jesus hadn't died yet. He hadn't done the whole dying, rising, and all that. He was just riding into town on a donkey. But they knew, based off of Old Testament scripture, that this was the one that God sent. This was their Savior. And in fact, what's so cool is Jesus didn't ride into town on a horse. Because you see, a horse back then, to ride into town on a horse would have meant that you were there for war. That you were there to start a war or to go into battle. But instead, he rode into town on a donkey, which symbolizes peace. You see, when Jesus rode into town, not only is he our savior, but he is also our prince of peace. And so for him to come in and the people to say, Hosanna, Hosanna, peace on earth. They're literally saying, Savior, Savior, peace on earth. I love that. I love how scripture ties in itself, how God has uniquely had his hand in it. Every single word is from the mouth of God, and we can see that throughout scripture. That's so cool. But you see, here's the thing. While Jesus was on town during that week, he was doing miraculous things. He was healing people left and right. He was calling people out for the things that they were doing wrong. And there were some Pharisees that did not like that. See, the Pharisees at that time were, they were not a huge fan of Jesus. Because when Jesus would talk about himself, he talked about himself as the son of God. 
And they thought that was blasphemy. They thought that was ridiculous. They were like, you can't be saying that you're the son of God. You can't be calling yourself God. But what they didn't realize was that they were talking to Jesus, the son of God. They didn't realize who he was. And so they started to plot against him, which is going to lead us into our Easter story for next week. So take, stay tuned. But for this week, I want to go over our memory verse with you. And it says this. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91, 1. You see, I love that verse because God's saying, listen, if you rest in me, if you place your burdens and your frustrations on me, I will bring you peace. I will give you rest. I will help you get through this. God's saying, rest in me, talk to me, vent to me, tell me what your issues are and tell me what you're excited about. Talk to me. And I will give you peace. I will give you comfort. I will give you rest. See, I love how much God loves us. He sent his one and only son for us to be our savior, to be the prince of peace. That's amazing. So let's pray today. Dear Jesus, we just thank you for this day. And we thank you for this time that we have to learn about you and your word. God, I thank you that you sent Jesus to die for us. I think I thank you that you sent us your word that is uh, by you, God. It is written by you, by your mouth, Lord. I love that. I love that every word is true and every word comes from the mouth of God. And so, Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you that you have saved us and that you have given us a chance to be your child. And I pray that today you will be with us, Lord, that you will give us peace, that you will give us rest, that you will save those that need to be saved. You will heal those that need to be healed in the name of Jesus, Lord. We give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So let's all stand up on our feet. Let's go into a time of worship real quick. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever Of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you. Jesus, a name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever say, Worthy of every breath.
tuning in this week, I just want to tell you about a fun game that we have for you. If you go to our Instagram page, 7 city underscore next gen, you can follow us and we'll be posting some different things for you to do throughout the week. Send in a picture of yourself doing it, tag us in it on Instagram, whatever it is, and you'll be put into a drawing for a pretty awesome prize that we will mail to your house. So, thanks so much for tuning in this week. Be sure to check out the small group questions and go follow us on our 7 City Instagram page. See ya!